Hello everybody and welcome back to Hacker Tools. This week we will be looking at Wayback URLs, the tool that can help you time travel for bounties. The past, it can tell stories. It can show you things that should have never been uncovered and today we will be looking at how we can use that past to hunt for subdomains, endpoints, tokens and secrets. All with the help of uh, Wayback URLs. Now, Wayback URLs is a utility written by Tom Nom Nom, and it will fetch known URLs from the Wayback Machine and Common Crawl and then show them to us. The things that we can find with these Wayback URLs are very interesting. On the one hand, we can find subdomains. Um, and this is a great way to passively find subdomains and other subdomain enumeration tools such as MS are actually already using this technique, so they already have it integrated in their, uh, in their tool. On the other hand, you can also find endpoints. That's obviously very obvious. Um, it will give you a large list of endpoints that you can use to test, and it might even be faster than brute forcing content enumeration, um, such as done with, for example, GoBuster. But to get into the real meat here, you can also find tokens and secrets. So in the past, there have been people who have submitted bug uh, bounty reports based on Wayback URLs because they found a endpoint that had some get parameters containing session IDs and these session IDs were still valid and they could that way take over accounts. Uh, that, obviously that's a great bounty to find, so something you can do with Wayback URLs. On the other hand, you can also find secret files um, in, for example, a configuration where uploaded files are stored in like slash files slash and then a very complex um, ID that you wouldn't be able to brute force. However, if you find that ID using Wayback URLs, then you obviously have it and you can perhaps look at files that you shouldn't be able to look at and that can help you disclose information. Now, why don't we take a look at this amazing tool and see what it can do. In my Kali machine, I will, uh, first of all, echo integrity.com because I'm going to run this on integrity.com. Now, note I am echoing th in this case, if you have a list of domains, then you can also just cat out your domain file with, with the, a list of domains and it will run uh, the utility on all the domains. Then I will pipe that into the Wayback URLs utility and I will run that and in this case I'm going to put that into a file called integrity because it will be a lot of output. Now that can take a second to work but it's done rather quickly in this case and we can go straight into the results. I will open this integrity file in uh, Sublime Text so that we can look at it. So first of all we see what we expect. A lot of URLs here. We see integrity.com, www.integrity.com. Uh, we see that we have endpoints, account slash manage, um, account slash manage slash change password. We also have a lot of files that don't actually exist. For example, this asn.1 file doesn't actually exist, but uh, apparently is in the Wayback Machine uh, for some reason. But we can scroll down and find some more interesting things. And this is where we find our first interesting thing here. Because we see, first of all, a new subdomain, api.integrity.com. But here we see that it has a file. So uh, file slash api slash file and then a public bucket file. Well, obviously we can now curl that file to see what that looks like. And in these cases, these are just public files, profile pictures, all of that stuff. And there is nothing much to note here. However, there might be some cases where some of these IDs would lead to a file that contains sensitive information. So that's always something to check. Uh, we can continue scrolling down because there's a lot of these files. And here we have the blog.integrity.com. So another subdomain. And on this subdomain, we know that WordPress runs uh, so we might find some information connected to that. And in this case here we find WordPress content, plugins, and then Akismat. So that might be a plugin that was used and we even have a version at the end of this. So that's something that you can check out as well. And then continuing all the way down, if I go all the way down here, you see that we have login.integrity.com 
and then we have a lot of get parameters here. So this tool also cho shows the get parameters that were found. And that can be useful if, for example, in this case, the credentials were passed along in, a, in the get uh, URL or, or a session ID would be found in, this, in, in the get parameters. And that way you could be able to take over an account. So those are the main things to look out for besides obviously all the endpoints that you now have and that you can use in your further scans and uh, yeah, take a look at what is hiding uh, down below in this application. And that is the exact power of Wayback URLs. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. As always, if you have any feedback, any tools that you would love us to cover, then comment them down below. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back next week. Take care.